And welcome to the conversation. We are back for another exciting episode. Thank you for joining us. And as always, I've got the gang here with me. The voice known as Greg Kirkland. Hey. <laughs> D. Marcus Smith. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> And the Jeff Fontleroy. Hey, I see you over there looking like you look doing what you do. <laughs> and this is the kind of show it's going to be today, folks. They're in, they're in that mood today. <laughs> All right, everybody good? How was it? Man, it's been good. It was good. 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 It was good. good. Good week, man. Good, 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 good week. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got a question for you. Oh, Lord. <laughs> if you had one week left on earth. Okay, wasn't wow. good anymore. How would you spend it? That just went downhill. <laughs> How would you spend that week? Jeff, let's start with you. I'll start with you. Let's start right? with him. I wonder why. Uh, you know what, man? I, I, would, uh, I, I would spend time with my family, and I would allow them to ask questions, mm. clarify some things that they may have heard. Uh, I've lived a colorful life, I so I want them to know as many facts as possible <laughs> and then i would have the best ice cream the juiciest steak um uh-huh okay the best the best the follow up the best roll biscuits that you could find i didn't think i would have a follow-up question but i do <laughs> just for him what all do you have to have clarified <laughs> in that last seven days <laughs> moving I on you said it you, uh, you said, said it. I was just wondering. I just I didn't want think my family to know, know the facts. <laughs> everything that they need to know about me and give them that opportunity oh, to yeah. ask about their dear dad. <laughs> okay. We'll accept that. DeMarcus, what yeah. about you? <laughs> <laughs> I would probably, uh, well, you can't travel too fast in seven days, but go somewhere, go a couple of places that I probably can't stay too long. <laughs> right. Can't stay too long at all. Uh, of course, kick it with the family. Um, some things, so there's some other things, but uh, it's fun. Oh, you don't network. have a follow up question for that? I, no. I don't have a follow up. No, absolutely not. Okay, just for you. Just for you. Just for me. He didn't need that to clarify. Oh, he just okay. Made a point. And of course, I would thank God for everything. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Greg. Uh, <laughs> I'll give y'all the Hope TV uh, answer. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would spend. Uh, Plenty of time with my wife. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course, time with my children. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I agree. Uh, and if I could, you know, get my whole family together somewhere and, and eat well. Yes, sir. I, loved, I, yeah. I have always loved to eat. Yes, sir. If I can eat my favorite meals. Yes, sir. Be around my family, just yes. laugh and kick it and just joke. I'm good. Okay. Anything to clarify? N no. Oh. Only you. Okay. <laughs> now, in my last two weeks, I would spend with my you family. Said one you said one week. Oh, 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 how you get two? I, I, what are you, we a genie? I would have to come to all y'all's funerals. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Wow. I'd have to come to your funeral first. So, so you get two. Okay. That's right, I get two weeks. Oh, my goodness. Are y'all ready to get the conversation? Oh, you don't here? get to talk about what you would do? I would spend it with my family on a beach somewhere enjoying myself. Okay, thank you. There you go. That's what it, Nothing to clarify? Absolutely not. Only okay. you. Yeah, only you. Only you. I don't like the way this is going. Yeah, well, you know, you, you, open that, <laughs> you open that box, sir. We just, you know. All right, here we go. Let's talk about style. Style. Let's talk about some um, We talked about colognes before, uh, about clothing and the, the styles that are, that are new. Um, what's your favorite time of year to dress, Greg? Like, what's your favorite? Fall. Time? Why? I love sweaters. Uh, I love that. I would say fall, winter. Okay. I would have to say a little yeah. mix of both because it's just something about that sweater weather when you, you know, the smells are there. You know what I'm talking, I'm talking yeah. about? Like those holiday smells in the air and, and uh, you go outside and you breathe and you can see the smoke coming from yeah. you. You know, it's just something about that brisk uh, fall, winter mix, sweaters and scarves. Yeah. And it's just, that's just, that's my favorite time. Okay, got you, got you. I'm, I'm with you on that. I love that time of year. Blazers and sweaters yeah, and things sir. like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Marcus? I would say the same. Fall, winter. 
I'm a big boots and Timberlands yes, and sir. the boots that Greg still ain't sent me from last <laughs> season. Um, but yeah, it's like sweaters, hoodies. Uh, yeah, fall yes, and winter. Sir. Fall and winter is that season. Yes, yeah. 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 Fashion yeah. wise, it would be that. Remember, right. Yeah. You, you know. There you um, go. There you go. Yeah, that that whole you know hustling look, hustling yeah. through the day. Wait. Leather. To clarify that too. Le- <laughs> leather hats, yeah. shoes, sweaters, yeah. all of that, for fashion. I still like the summer, yeah. but for fashion, nah. it would be that fall winter. Okay. Yeah. Let me. You, you mentioned hats. Let me ask you this, Jeff. And you're you're a big hat wearer. How do you know what type of hat to wear for the different seasons? And you're a hat mm-hmm. wearer. How do you um, know what type of hat? You know what, for me, man, um, it's an expression of, of how I feel. Um, mm-hmm. You know, there's some times that I feel very elegant and I wear one of my elegant hats. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some times where, you know, I'm colorful and, and, and I wear something, you know, a little wilder uh, or caps like uh, Jeff caps. Mm-hmm. Um, I love caps, good caps, Borsellinos. Um, they, they make one of the best caps around, uh, the Irish tweed caps. Uh, I, I love hats, mm-hmm. good hats, though. Sure. Mm-hmm. I just purchased one, and I'm so disappointed. <laughs> and, I, and when it came you bought it off the internet? in the pack, yeah, I did. Oh, when it came God. in the package, <laughs> oh, my God. I, I looked outside and said, oh, psh, that's a wrap. It, and I was so disappointed, but I'm doctoring it up a little bit to make it look good. Dang, gotcha. But uh, can, let me ask you, can you wear straw hats in the winter? No. OK. Nah. Don't not around me. I'm okay. going to talk about you. Okay. Straw hat? No. You know, like straw, like, a, you know, like, a, like, no. like when you go on vacation, like a no, uh, like a like no, a straw hat. No, I know what yeah. you mean. No, you know, yeah, no, yeah, no. like no. You know, they have fedoras. Man. Now, no, I'm oh, okay. Question, they have fedoras. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 what do y- has anybody else? What do y'all think about the hoochie daddy shorts they got out now? Whoa! Y'all heard about <laughs> that? Right? You gotta have hoochie daddy legs for hoochie daddy shorts, don't you? Listen. I saw some cat. I saw a dude. No lie. No lie. Over the summer, it was like way up here. Oh, I ain't going up there. Nah. You gotta have legs for hoochie daddy shorts. You got dudes out here with twigs. Twiggly, yeah. yeah. trying Listen, to wear these shorts. Yeah. Listen, I don't like well, the way you look. You, you kept focusing on me when you said that, too. <laughs> and he rubbing, you, yeah, and he rubbing his hey, knee. He rubbing his knee. Never skip leg day, people. Hey, let me tell you something. Never skip leg Once day. my abs come in, they almost there. Once they come they're in. Almost they almost where? They almost uh, visible. Okay. Uh, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my hoochies on, Doc. You understand? They ain't going to be way up there, though. But once okay. my see, I can't have nothing over it. I need it to go right. flat, okay. straight down. You gonna wear hoochie pop pop? Yeah, but 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 cologne. You said something about cologne too, right? Yeah, we talked yeah, talk about cologne. So they they I, they just came out. <laughs> they just came out with something. There's a a, a brother that has a cologne it's called Savoir Faire, and okay. he just came out with a new fragrance. Savoir Faire. Yeah, Savoir Faire. Savoir Faire. Local. He's local. And he just came out with a new cologne, man. And it's all natural ingredients. This thing is fire, man. Wow. I mean, it's fire. Yeah, it's, wow. it's, it's big. And it's very inexpensive. Wow. wow. Yep. Yeah, yep. you know, it's something about the cologne game, you know, knowing, you know, when you're wearing something dark or when you're wearing something light or when yeah. you're going out for an evening or when you're going out for the day. Just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just knowing how to switch up and yeah, know yeah. Uh, some colognes are a little sweeter. So, so I, I got, just I got a question. Say, uh, just you know, what's the sweeter? game for colognes? Because I don't know. What's the, what? want, what's the game for colognes? Like when to wear what? You, it, 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 depends on, it depends on what you're wearing. Yeah. Because, hmm. because like if I put on a suit. Right. You got a specific set. Yeah. See, I've never been taught that. Yes, oh, wow. I learned, yeah. And, and I've also, you have to know there's a difference between real cologne and and, and eau de, eau de toilet. Eau de toilet. Yeah. Eau de, wait, what is that? Eau, eau de, de toilet. toilet. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what you know. Parfum. It's going to be your least, your lesser expensive yeah. colognes, mm-hmm. and it's not going to be, it's not going to last. Right. Parfum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Parfum. Yeah. Parfum it's not, or eau de toilet. Yeah. It's not going to last you. It's, it's going to. It'll smell you nice. Spray it on at, at first. But yeah. but. but Later on in the day, that it, that fragrance will be gone. Yeah, fact, you yeah. you get something uh, a good solid cologne. Yeah, that's a um, fragrance. It's a fragrance. Oh, y'all don't put me on gas. So it's for me, I really didn't know that. I think I'm gonna go with something a little sweeter, hmm. a little lighter. Okay. You know what I mean? If if I'm doing just a shirt, you know, slacks, I may go something with uh, a little uh, woodsy, a little musky. Okay. 
mm -hmm. the woodsy musky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but nothing e ever too heavy. Yeah. Man, and the best listen. thing, what I've started doing when I buy colognes, wherever I get it from, Mm -hmm. I will, you know, usually the people in cologne, behind the counters at cologne uh, yeah. shops, they know, they know how much and how much to put on. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And you can put it on and, and see how it reacts to your body. Right. Yeah. All colognes, right. it, Gucci may smell good on you, right. yeah. but it may not be the Absolutely. best on somebody else. Right. 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 Your, your, your body, your yes, natural, yeah. because you have a natural a body uh, scent. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sure. So you have to have so a cologne know what mixes with that that. mixes with that well. Yeah. So everything yeah. doesn't yes, doesn't blend well. What smells good on you yeah. might not yeah. smell Absolutely. good on me and vice versa. Absolutely. And, and, what smells and good on that little spray when yeah, they yeah. give it to you in the store might different... not smell good on you on you on your body. That's right. And put it on points of your body that, you know, uh pulsate not is it pulsate mm. or mm. generate <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Pheromones. And <laughs> yeah, pheromones. There yeah. it is. See I know where you was going. Thank you. Thank you. Just a dope powered dude. Yeah. I ain't know that. Y'all yeah. really put me on. You're game. gonna learn today, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's, learn today. I literally just walk in. Like I uh, last cologne I bought was Savage. Mm -hmm. When okay. I went mm -hmm. in, okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. But that's it. I didn't know that there was specific. Sure. Now take your sense. time to talk to the person behind the counter. Normally, the people behind those counters they they know their game. So y'all got an uh, everyday cologne, right? Y'all got a. Uh, and then you have suit, that special day, out occasion. night ballroom sure. type. Yeah. Sure. Then y'all got that. You said woodsy? Sure. Yeah, woodsy. Sure. Woodsy or, or, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, I really no, 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 yeah. we, we yeah. really, yeah. no, we yeah. understand. It's yes. just a life. And, and, and really, to get him to explain. Really, really talk to the person behind the booth because, honestly, most people that work in that department, they know absolutely. Okay. the absolutely. actual absolutely. fragrance absolutely. Yeah. and they will work with you. They'll let you right. know yeah. get how a long it lasts. Sure. Absolutely. They'll let you know, like, what to wear it with. Yeah. Um, they'll let you try it and all of that. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a, I know that. It, it's it's a game changer. Yeah, absolutely. It's a game changer. So, like, I've been seeing cats on online who have, like, they've been showing, like, top tens. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'll save mm -hmm. those and then mm -hmm. I'll go check them out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I really, that is, that is something new. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know it was a game. Your body, though. Sure. The worst Sense. thing you can do, man, is show up with a fragrance that just doesn't fit. Doesn't right. work. Right. Or, yeah. fit, okay. or fit or, the or just atmosphere. Just way too much loud. Yeah. One yeah. It's just it's too, too loud. loud. Yeah. 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 Ah. Yeah. So do y'all all put it on the same way then? How, how do you put yours well, on? Well, first of all, I learned a few years ago, I'll be honest with you, just a few years ago, I learned that really you're supposed to apply your cologne or your fragrance as soon as you step out of the shower. As soon shower. as you step out of the shower. Well, yeah. That's it. So it attaches. So it yeah. absorbs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You, you want to be moisturized. Your pores are open. Your pores are open. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, I, this you thing, I used to do it when I just walk out of the house. Country, right. <laughs> you just spray it on when you're right. walking out of the house. Yeah, but no, no, you, you put no, it on so it right after you get out of the house. You're around grown men, Tell. Oh, no, I got that. This country right here. Oh my God! <laughs> Help him. Send him some brute. Send him some brute. No. Hey, what's that brute? Let me tell you, brute is stepping up their game, real. man. That's yeah. literally. I got right. somebody. I was like, let's 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 talk about. Uh, okay, uh, Cosmopolitan magazine, online what, what? magazine, Cosmopolitan. Uh -huh. Some of the things they're saying are must-have items. Uh, that women like to see men in are things that you should have in your repertoire. Hmm. For okay. okay, all right. Okay. Um, the perfect T-shirt. Okay. You know, they have a nice, a good, good T-shirt. Mm -hmm. All right, nice, a nice T-shirt. Sure. And I, I agree because there's, yeah. especially in the summer. Sure. You walk yeah. around even with nice jeans or something. Absolutely. You can have right, a nice right, right. T-shirt. Yeah. Give me a T-shirt. Yeah. That tells a story. Uh, uh, some nice lace-up boots that mm. you can wear untied. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to you, right, Ryan. Right. I'm listening to uh, you. Of course, a suit. Yeah. Even if you buy off the rack, there's nothing wrong with buying off the rack. But you still have to get it tailored. Tailored for you. You still have yeah. to get it contoured yeah. to, to your, your body. body. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever that amount of that suit is, you might be getting a good buy, but you need to also understand that you're going to have to spend a little extra yeah. to get it, it tailored. Yeah. 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 And, 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 Absolutely. And, and, and that's especially true yeah. uh, for everybody, but especially but a smaller frame. Right. Yeah. I, people There's my size. There's nothing worse than you have a suit on that just hangs. Oh, yeah. 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 Lord yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And you God need to help. get it. You know, fit it so it's. Yes, I mean, sir. so it just it just hangs better. Yes, it looks sir. better. And, it makes a difference. And big guys don't do double breasted. That, that's that not that out true. There. All right, <laughs> that is not true. Go on, Ron, because okay. this man, don't listen. All right, to him. Um, this is again. They said um, one of the things that people round tortoise shell glasses. Face. For yeah, the same I was frames, I was right? taught yeah. that. You that's how I was taught. Find um, a frame according to your face. Yeah. Aviator glasses. Aviator that, sunglasses. Yeah. Those are what work for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. aviator sunglasses. Yeah. I agree with that. A nice, this one surprised me, a nice flannel shirt. 
Hmm. A I really nice flannel shirt. I can see that. Yeah. Um, I can see that. White Vans. Yes. White Vans. Man. Some just clean white Vans. Like bands. a plain what, white. What, what just magazine a plain white is this? Loafer. Like, oh, like okay, some type well, of plain um, white loafer. Um, right. Uh, uh, khakis rolled up at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, again, this everything won't be for everybody. Right. It's right. Cosmo. Who's reading Cosmo? People who like to be uh, in style. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it. A perfect tan blazer. I read. I, love, yeah, I can see that. Love I read, yeah, I can tan see blazer. That. A fitted Henley shirt. What's oh, a Henley shirt? No. A Henley shirt with, uh, has no collar, right, but like it's buttons at the top. Like a mock neck. Like a banded collar. Buttons at the top. Okay, yeah, okay, like okay, a banded okay, collar. Okay, okay. yeah. um, a button down shirt, crisp with the sleeves rolled up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what? It's like yeah. a, it's a, yeah. Yeah, I know what it is, but okay. who? Keep going. Okay. Keep, a nice leather jacket. Okay. okay. One That's that it. doesn't make you look like a hell's angel. Uh, okay. You don't I got a smooth one. I got a nice smooth jacket. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, go yeah. with that. Uh -oh. And then uh, the last one on there, you would like this, a fitted beanie. Yeah. A fitted beanie. A fitted yeah. beanie. Yeah. Yeah, and again, That's, all of this is not for every. This yeah. is just some of the things that are. <laughs> not, many people, not many people in my neighborhood just wear all of those. That one, right. <laughs> yeah. They interviewed Jeff's wife for that. <laughs> not many people in my for neighborhood wear the flannel shirt or the khakis rolled well, we, up. I'm sure the they bottom. do. We know where you live. I'm sure there's people out there in beanies and khakis. So, okay, so. All right. And uh, uh, one, um, uh, let's talk about dressing for. Let's talk about occasions. Mm -hmm. Dressing for occasions. You know, when you go to. Uh, Certain occasions, sure. you know, people need to, you know, know how to dress when oh, you go yeah. to a, right. a certain occasion. Absolutely. Yeah. Again, let's start with you, Jeff. If you're going to an upscale cookout, Jeff, uh, an upscale bar, what what would you what what would you wear to an upscale barbecue? Uh, first of all, make sure my feet are manicured, Good. and I'm gonna have on a nice leather sandal, um, <laughs> op open toe. I'm not gonna wear the thong uh, okay. sandal. But I mean, it's a personal choice, but sure. I'd rather have the Let open the toe. OK. And uh, yeah. And um, I'd have a nice pair of shorts on or nice uh, casual, you know, pants and slack. Or jean shorts. Would you wear jean shorts or is that OK? Or yeah, just, yeah, yeah okay. I wear a nice okay. pair of jean shorts. shorts. Are good. They just have to be, again, they have to fit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. they fit right. You Nothing tight. Or not, or not too loose. Either. Or not too loose no either. Yeah, yeah. Big and it would be casual. Look, it look, yeah. it would be a dressy casual. Yeah. Um, okay. And, and knowing that you're gonna, you may sweat. Sure. It's gonna be a material that. Right. That first, I'm gonna have a, a, a t-shirt on underneath Absolutely. to absorb that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, dress casual. Okay. You know. Absolutely. Okay. And, and maybe a nice hat. Right. Gotcha. You know, nice straw. You know. Okay. Or a nice you. cap. All right. The markers will give you this one. Um, you out with the, out with your wife, a nice evening, nice dinner, mm -hmm. um, upscale restaurant. What would you What would you typically wear? At something like that. Cool. Really nice upscale with restaurant without you know out with out with out with the wife. Ah, uh, probably like some. Well, I'm I can't wear tight stuff, so I would wear like some I guess some nice slacks. Okay. Uh, some comfortable. Um, I don't know what the shoes are called now, but. Uh, some just real comfortable. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big Jordan fan, but I clearly wouldn't wear those. But like, they've got these new uh, Aldo. I've been shopping at Aldo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So and they got shoes. some really dope, like, loaf. uh, like little loafers, <laughs> little yeah. tennis Oxford. shoe type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll probably wear that with a probably just like a little clean button down. Okay. But, but now define tight, because you said I couldn't wear tight. So, define tight to I, you. Really? So when I buy wow, pants or so jeans, bad. they always make me get athletic cuts. Okay. Because my legs are just right. from old sports and stuff. Right. So, like, your any pants are. Your legs are what? You didn't finish that. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> you said my legs are athletic. My legs are athletic from legs. old sports. What are you trying to say? Running back legs. It's a shameless you know? plug. It's just so, a shameless plug. When I buy jeans, Please. stretch pants. Right, right. Which right. have been very comfortable. So, right. Uh, anything like that, that just, I, I just, I hate being uncomfortable. That's why y'all never really see me in suits. Gotcha. Because I feel restricted sure, and gotcha. can't move. Sure. And we, you want to be honest? Athletic cut. No, but you want to be honest? <laughs> I actually split a suit. Wow. I put it on, and I, I literally, I think I did, and split the leg seam down and the back split. Oh, yeah, we need to take right. you I can't someplace else yeah, to get right. suits. <laughs> moving, moving away from Hulk. Moving away from Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> you went to a corporate mm. dinner function. Mm. I would definitely dinner. do uh, probably a patterned button-up shirt. Uh, hmm. Not really? buttoned all the way up to the neck, but a open few neck. buttons down, open okay. neck, with a blazer. Mm -hmm. Possibly a nice pair, of, a very nice denim. 
Really? A very nice denim. To a corporate? To a corporate. A very nice denim, though. It can't be a casual denim. It's got to be like a dark wash denim. Yeah. Uh, There's a difference between looking at it and it's a pair of blue jeans. Right, I exactly. Got some denim. Not right. jeans. I got some. Not okay. uh, right. denim. Okay. Right. Right. right, right, right. Like a nice, dark, deep mm -hmm. blue wash denim with a button up shirt, a blazer, maybe a pocket square, and a nice pair of loafers. Got gotcha. you. Okay. So basically, so, I need a stylist. So, so you see, telling me. Okay. Th there's differences in here with this because I, I would never think that. Uh, it would have to be a blue or black suit, crisp white shirt, tie, black um, leather shoe, sure. nothing fancy, no gator, or nothing like that. Right, Just no, a black no, leather shoe, corporate yeah, shoe. Sure. Um, mock toe or uh, cap toe or lace up. Um, for corporate, that's what I would think. The yeah. av if you think corporate, not to cut you over, the average corporate, if you think that, they, they almost dress like they're going on the golf course. The average corporate, mm -hmm. if you think about it, they almost dress in golf attire. Right. They just put on, on a, a daily blazer. basis. Yeah, on yeah, a absolutely. daily basis. Mm -hmm. They just put on a blazer. They just mm -hmm. add a blazer. Most corporate people keep a blazer somewhere. They keep it in their car. Mm -hmm. They keep it in their office. Mm -hmm. And they just add a blazer to what they have absolutely. on. Wow. Absolutely. That's, okay. Yeah. La last question before we close this segment out. Real quick. What would you wear to a wedding? Really quickly. What would you wear to a wedding? I'm going to be suited and booted. I'm going to be suited, suited and, and booted. booted. Tie? Always it just tie. depends. No, not always a tie. Okay, As a matter of fact, I've gotten to where I'm not a tie. I'm not a big tie right, dude. I'm yeah. going to do open collar. Okay. Yeah. But pocket, uh, pocket, pocket square. square. Okay. Good point. I need a stylist because <laughs> I don't know what they. So if you're a stylist out there, please email. Email him. Email. Like <laughs> ASAP. Okay. But no, I'll probably. I just whatever's comfortable. So I, I've been seeing a lot of cats with the suits with like the t-shirts. I really like that. Vibe. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it, no, and, and I get, I've seen that too. It's and like I guess, the all white T-shirt underneath. It's a real a clean. clean. Vibe. To, clean. That, to that point, you're in that age range where that right, works. Right, that, right, that right, works right, for you. right. What Absolutely. about you, real quick? It, it depends on the season. If it was summer, it was summer wedding, linen suit, something like that. If mm. it was a, well, uh, a fall winter, suit and tie. Gotcha. Okay, Ooh. very good. Yeah. Again. Uh, I uh, hope we're helping you a little bit out there with just uh, what we know about fashion and our, our thoughts on it. We'll be right back. Oh, I don't know much R&B. I'm telling you that right now. Hot gospel. And we want you to take the hook of it or the piece that you know, and we want you to sing it to us how you would if you were at church. Boys to men, um, end of the road. All right, I'm going to go back to my choir days. All the week up. To the end of the road, still I can let go. It's a natural sopranos. Oh, I belong to you. Oh, you belong to me. Yeah. <laughs> financial freedom, and you think about the role that Renaissance Bank plays in the community. From your perspective, what does financial freedom mean to you? To talk about financial freedom, we have to understand financial education. Keep track of what's coming in and what's going out. You won't overspend, and that, that helps the family uh, tremendously in, in, in financial education.
Welcome back to the conversation. It's time for That's Debatable. We've got a good one uh, for you today. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right. Let's talk about leadership and standards. Oh my God. Leadership and standards. Leadership really? and standards. Do we hold our leaders and our celebrities to a, a higher standard that is unfair? And I'm going to, I know it's been talked about for the last uh, forever this year, but we're going to go back and talk about it. Let's go to the Let's go to the Oscars. Let's talk about the slap. We have to talk about the slap. <laughs> Yeah. Let's talk about it. First of all, let's Greg start over here. Yeah. When you when you saw it, let's. I was, I, I was so disappointed. That did hurt. Were you? Did, were you? Let me ask you this: Did you think it was real, or well, did you think it was? Staged? Well, here's the thing. I got to be honest. I didn't see it live. I can't remember whatever was happening the night at the Oscars. I was at an event. Okay. So I didn't see it live. I saw the, the next day. Okay. Like I didn't even see that night. Okay. Mm-hmm. I saw the next morning on Good Morning America. Got you. And I was like, wait a minute. And what happened was when I saw it go by, I didn't have the volume up. So, so in that moment I did, I was like, well, what, what did they do at the Oscars? What, right. You know, you. what is that? And when I saw what explained, first of all, I am a Will Smith yes, sir. follower. Yes, sir. I am a Will Smith guy. Yes, sir. I think that Will Smith's social media platform is incomparable. I think that if you follow Will Smith on Instagram, it's like a whole different something. Mm-hmm. It's like the art of story. It's it, oh my God. He's yeah. amazing. Right? So when that happened, I was in disbelief and I was so disappointed. I was angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got upset. Yeah. I just could not believe that he could not contain himself. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Got you. Got you. Yeah. DeMarcus? I think it hurt just the culture period because we grew up with Fresh Prince. We right. grew up with Men in Black. Will, Will was one of those black icons, similar to like Denzel, uh, Jamie Foxx, those guys that have been in the game for a while that you grew up with. Right. And so it did, I saw it live. Mm. And it was just one of them things where you sat for a minute because you tried to make sense of it first. Sure. Well, maybe, yeah. Well, maybe Chris was going to love, but then it was just like, but Will, you teach, not only do you, you're very creative, but yeah. you often teach great lessons, yeah. okay. right? So when you brought up the celebrity status, one of the things that I remember him saying, uh, he, he put out there game-wise for all celebrities, he told them, always remain touchable. Yeah. Mm. And that got me because yeah. that, that took celebrities from that high horse that they would sit on mm. to now where you see celebrities now, if they out, I don't mind taking a picture with mm-hmm. you. I don't mind, sure. mm-hmm. you know, stopping, signing, having conversations. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. Uh, but to see that, it hurt. But at the same time, I'm like, but he's still human at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. He still, he still had that moment of, I think, like any male here, where if it's wifey or somebody, your kid, somebody that you are, you know, you love, and somebody's going, and you give them that fake laugh first, yeah. and their head now. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you ain't caught on. Uh-huh. He just, uh, he stepped into to a side that I know uh, okay. it hurt him. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I only went to um, social media. Sure. Yeah. And I saw a foreign uh, media source sure. that had the whole thing with language and everything. Right. I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. So, of course, I went right. through right. and saw different, ver- same version, but different ways. Right. I was hurt. Um, I mean, I, I know Will, not personally, right, but sure. being well, in West the, Philly. It makes yeah, you yeah. feel like uh, you we, know it. You know, we yep. came up in right. West Philly parties and all that kind of stuff when right. they were doing all the parties, street parties. Mm-hmm. So, you know, seeing them a lot and then growing up, watching them grow, I was hurt. Yeah. Wow. I, was, I was hurt. I was embarrassed. Yeah. I was embarrassed because that was a big moment. This is a, this is a, yeah. and man, mm-hmm. you blew it, bro. Yeah. He was yeah. a center. N- not just for you. Yeah. He was yeah. a center. N- not just for you, yeah. Yeah. but everybody after that. Sure, sure. Everybody who was with you. Sure, sure. You blew that moment. And not, and not to mention the fact that Will Packard directed it. 
Mm. You know what that was black hope. That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, every year the thing is Oscar so white. Oscar it was, so white. It was this so was the much year than him. of yeah, the so black yeah. man oh, when it yeah. came That's to what the hurt Academy me. Awards. Like this was yeah. so much bigger than you. Yeah, yeah. And you took a personal moment that you could have just held off yeah. later on and said, "Hey, Chris, hey, man, look, yeah. Yeah. that yeah. wasn't cool, bro. Right, for right. sure. We need right. to work this out." But that's right. the thing, like, and, and and I know he's human. Yeah. Right. But God, man, if that wasn't a lesson for us, yeah. For sure. Because it was so much bigger than him. Yeah. And that's what hurt me. Yeah. And I watched for those sure. uh, uh, videos from him. Yeah. And they are. I mean, I was, I'm happy for him. Yeah. But, but do you man. think he, you think once he stepped, it's like I've known cats, once you step into that moment, once you step through that door, they just go all the way through. You got to go all the way through with right, it. Right, and right. that's how I took it. It's just, he had already started it, mm. so I got to finish because uh, I'm already yeah. out there. But, but he, I don't, I let can't. Me, let, me, let, let, me, let me stir the pot. Oh, you know, we're we, we going to stir the pot some more. Oh, oh, God. Oh, I hate when you stir this pot. Do you think, because, and we, and we know that uh, the alopecia, you know, that uh, Jada has, you know, we, they talked about that right. was part of it. Do you think the sentiment of the general public would be different if it was a disease that was more serious. Yeah. If it was more serious, say it was something that was a cancer. terminal illness, sure. Okay, cancer. Sure. If it was a terminal illness and a comedian on stage said, yeah, well, don't worry, it won't, you won't be with us long or something. That's oh, different, oh, though. Give it a shot. Oh, wow. He but got you know what? But you know what, though? See, well, I didn't even have that sound. Yeah, that's yeah. different. But, but I'm out of here right now. Oh, my God. Hold on, bro. So, okay. I, so, okay. I didn't no, no, no. associate so, okay. so, the this joke what I'm saying. with that, though, at no, first. No, no, no. So, my point is. No, this is my point. So, that's why I say it. Yes, sir. My point is, it. Dep it's the relevance is how far you go is based on what is Said. But this is the thing, and this is this is where I. And what if the, if the audience, or what if the same thing about, say it was cancer, and they said something about, you know, th something similar. Well, yeah, you're looking kind of slim there, not knowing that they were suffering from cancer. When they that's said, different. Uh, what do you mean? Because I mean that's different. That's, well, there that's were, not, there were remarks about chat with Bozeman what that were out different? there online. Sure. When he was sick. Well, my thing. Here's my thing, Ryan. Okay. Here's my thing to that. Here's my thing. I feel like what you. What, you make a good point that I'd never considered. True. What if it was? What if it was worse? Right, you know, right, right. If it was a, a different, different, scenario, yeah, different. Right? Disease, and maybe mm -hmm. not. They and maybe not. They say something as harsh as that. Right, but I'm right, just saying. Right, right, right. So, yeah. and, and, but I'm glad you said that because what it what it says is that I think it goes back to because people. I don't people think people. Everybody connects the that issue yeah. with thinking that was. Big enough to do that, to do right. that. but you right. other things but, you're saying yeah. it's big enough yeah, but, that would warrant well, going up there. Well, you Even made a statement. Uh, that, oh my God! Said, that was, you got not, and then you said yeah, something that's wrong. Wrong. right? That would be bad. So again, you you so, bad. so my point is, <laughs> there would be situations where that would have been acceptable. Well, not really though, but because, because here's my point. Here's my point, and that's what I was saying. You make a good point by by what you say. The point that you made, not so fast, but. <laughs> but what I'm saying Email is this. Him. What I'm saying is, like my standpoint would still be the same. I guess because okay. I'm a here's, it, I am a very calculated thinker, right? Mm. And so the I think part of the reason why I was so disappointed in Will is because if Will had played it, and I use that term loosely, if he had played it the right way. Let's say it was something that was worse, but even if it wasn't, even if it's, just, even if it's quote unquote just alopecia, if Will had a played his hand right, the court of public opinion would have eaten Chris Rock alive. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I disagree. No, no I disagree. I agree. No, I, agree. I disagree. No, I agree. Because only, only because this is. Jada didn't come out with alopecia until after. The no, 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 no. She had already said on what Jada had already stated on her red, red table, red table that's what it was. that okay. she suffered from so alopecia and that she was know. losing. Right. But, but even if he didn't, the point that I'm making is by him making the statement that he made, if Will had opinion yeah. would have eaten Chris Rock alive. I, I, said no, that. I agree with that. I yeah. agree with but, that. But this make is my a thing. joke. Yeah. So, but but that's about something right there. that yeah. so many people suffer but from. But is yeah. not comedy that type of art? It is. Because but, every comedian that I grew up with, you can go all the way back to Red Fox, 
You go back to Richard Pryor. You go back to uh, Eddie. They all bring to light what generally is people's pain, what they're going through, whatever. They do. No, but they do. Comedy, I agree. Right. Yeah. Not at a usually not, a not personal direct. level. Yeah. And, and I think, and to your point, uh, the, the public opinion would have been against Chris. Then I think it would have been up to Will to say, hey, that's, he did. He that's wasn't what aware. I'm saying. Right. So yeah. He was not he aware. Come out, Will did not play his come hand out right. I agree with that. Top. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. that. Yeah, agree. Sometimes I'm silence is the uh, best listen, weapon. And because just the thing about it is, and let everybody else fight it. Because of Will's decision, right? He automatically flipped it yep. and mm-hmm. made himself and, the yep. bad guy. Yep. And I would have thought, I, yep. I guess they're not, not they're the best of friends, they're sure. just friends, they run the same circles. I would have known, that I know him, like I know you well enough to know that you wouldn't joke about my son, Absolutely. if you came Absolutely. in and noticed yeah. my son, right. Absolutely. Well, you getting, well, you looking skinny, Absolutely. you wouldn't joke about that knowing Absolutely. that he had a condition. Sure. Right. You just sure. would not have. Right. Now, if you didn't so know, you might say, boy, why are you so thin? And I then agree. I would say, oh, you know, he gets right. it. So, and then I, and then then I would have said, oh, my yeah. man. Yeah. So just I'm stay sorry. silent. Wait until the right moment. Right. Hey, Chris, listen, man, you but, know my wife. But guess what? But watch this. Not even that. Again, I'm a, I, I am a calculated thinker. Okay. Right? I would, if... I wouldn't have said a word. Right. Yeah. When I won that Oscar, yeah. I would have got up on that stage and I would have said, despite the fact that people decide to use something so serious as what my wife is dealing with to make a joke, I'm still appreciative of this platform. Yeah. Even Chris but alive. see, I think that would have been unfair again to Chris if he didn't know. You know but what? Still, I don't know. Now, now, you come now out wait better. a minute, wait a minute. Still. That was shady, man. Really that was shady, shady Greg. <laughs> that, was shady. <laughs> that was shady. So he said calculated thinking here. Yeah, that was shady. So let me ask you this. Let me ask okay, next question in that Does it matter? <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> does it matter where you are when that happens? If that's in another venue, the, is it only because it's in public at the Oscars? I think, yeah. Or think is that, that if they were in the after if they were at the after party? And that same statement got made and say he's hosting the after party and Chris is the comedian at the after party sideways and and, and said something sideways. I think three times in the throat. At the end of the day, you got cameras on you anyway. Man. Okay. So that's you're true. saying because it was the Oscars and yeah, that was a big thing. No, I, that was I'm a sorry. Thing. I still would have so waited. Bad. I still would have waited. The platform was okay. bad. It's just too it much. Just was, it was a, too much and, attention. And listen, it was obvious that yeah. whatever happened was so much more than that moment. So much more. What, whatever mm-hmm. Will had mm-hmm. on him was so much more than yeah. that moment. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, now, so much more. Me, I agree. Do you think? Do you think we hold Will and the other because it, and Will? I say Will because this is kind of the latest thing, that, and people are say, they're so disappointed in him and what he meant before that and now what he means. Do you think we are harder on our leaders and public figures than we are on on normal people? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. I can agree. Why? Well, I, I mean, I, don't, I mean, why are we? I know, I believe, I agree. I think we are, but why um, is that? Because I think well, we, go ahead. we have a belief that they should know better, and we forget that they're humans, also. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry. And when we ex- there are certain expectations we have of people who are out there speaking for something good, bad, or indifferent representing a group of people. Is that fair? Um, it's not fair, but guess what? Yeah, I don't know if it's fair or not. It's not fair. But it's expected. It's not fair, but guess what? It's reality. Yeah. It's, it is something that, excuse me, it, I would never consider myself a celebrity. But the position that I hold yep. and the platforms that I stand yep, on yep. require me yep. to walk a certain way. Yep. Mm-hmm. They yep. require me to yep. be a certain way when I'm in public. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's not fair. It's not. No. But it, but it's reality. But it's an expectation. There, there, this is, it there's is times what it is. I want to say things to oh people my God. and do something to people. But I think about you know I don't have a large platform, but the small platforms that people see me in, Absolutely. I represent something Absolutely. that I have to have. And with. you represent it. So at I all pull times. back. I pull back. I pull back. Yeah. I do pull back. But man, I want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to say something. I want to do something. I want to act a certain way. I want to cut loose. But I, I have to always, I always remember, if nothing else, I represent my family. Absolutely. True. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's, but it's, it's, it's something. So is it fair? I don't think so. No, it's Why not it is. Is. Okay, so let me ask this. 
why should these people care if they've reached a certain level? And there are people who've reached a certain level of success to where things just really won't impact their livelihood a lot. Will Smith is probably one of those people. Right. People will be upset with him. They can have their public opinion. But in, in all reality, his lifestyle will not be impacted because he it's, has reached that about level. His legacy and stuff? I mean, I mean, I mean, well, he got, well, he got most people, stain no, on him. Most sure. people don't respond because like the, we are at a level where we can't do that because our livelihoods are attached right, to it. Right. And certain things will get us removed right. and our livelihood right. jeopardized. Right. When you are worth three or four or five hundred million dollars. Yeah. Who, you're li- yeah, you're right. You have a reputation of, yeah, that was a bad thing to do. But what really is how much should we care because. He is, and I'm not saying he does sure, or doesn't, sure, but sure. how much should he have to worry about it when... Well, the only thing I would say to that statement is this. If this had been 10 years ago, I would probably agree with you. Now, in 2022, cancel culture will wear you out. Right, but again, it, what can cancel... Other and, and I, Oh, no, it can me, do a lot. No, it no. Can, it can. It can do I'm a lot. saying it can do a lot for your... To most people, it can do a lot for projects and things like that. But when you think about it, if you are worth oh, all that five hundred million dollars, they can't yeah. that's not going anywhere. That's yeah, what it's it but, but council culture will strip you from now futuristic stuff, but even... Yeah, but, but it can't I get take what you're saying, what but it can't take what you already, already have. If I've got five hundred million dollars, you can if I never make another movie Okay, I never make another. Well, first but, of all, he can produce his own movies if he wanted to. Sure. But you know what I mean? They can't impact his life. But here's the only thing about that. Think about that. This is what I would say. It, it, it makes sense what you're saying. And to a certain extent, what you're saying is correct. If a person is not, if, when, you, when you can affect a person's passion, mm-hmm. you've gotten to them. That's a good point. See? Because That's a good point. you can't take away the money I've made. But if you can you stop, stop my project, stop my... T- exactly. That's my passion. Gotcha. That's, what, yeah, well, that's why I'm asking the question. I, I think, my, for me, I think that as black that's people, we, that we should do what we can to uphold a certain standard for those who are coming behind us um, so that they can continue with a standard of uh, integrity, um, one of statesmanship, um, one of being above... Uh, the nonsense. I think that it's already expected of us to react that way. So that, that's, for me, that's what it is. I, I would hope that we would just keep a certain standard where we could deal with things behind the scenes. The scenes as men. As men, yeah. as mm-hmm. women, mm-hmm. with integrity. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and so that we can show those coming behind that, mm-hmm. hey, you can operate mm-hmm. at a certain standard, mm-hmm. even at this rate. And but, guess what? Even if it escalates to something crazy, at least if you've taken the proper steps to say, hey, I went to this person, I tried, we tried to talk it out, yeah. it didn't go well. Yeah. I tried to explain what I thought they did wrong, yeah. that didn't, it wasn't received. Yeah. You know, and at this point, the only thing left for me to do is put my hands on them. Mm-hmm. it. At least you. Mm-hmm. you can say, mm-hmm. I took yeah. the steps. Yeah. yeah and, but even with all of this, the backlash he's still facing over this, most people say you make a mistake, you do what? Apologize. You apologize. Yeah. He's done that on numerous yes. platforms. And, yes. and, but it, he's still getting yeah. hammered. But, you, but, it, but, but you're it, going to. Yeah. But, but, I'm, but it again, was just so, so big, Back Ron. to my point, it was was, so if big. I've apologized, why should I care after I've done what people say do, you make a mistake. You because say it's you still own, interfere. You with own it. Lifestyle. He may not no, care. No, no, no. You own it. But in the in, but the, in the court of court public of opinion, public opinion still that's his life. it was so much bigger than his apology. I get apology. that. Yeah. But yeah. what else can he do? It, it he got to apologize. Yeah. He gotta nothing. Gotta okay. Nothing. He's gotta, so he gotta, he's my gotta point is, he's just gotta he gotta yeah. go with the if the, we are going to the cycle. Because yeah. be honest, it's if cyclical. We, if one of us does something, or somebody we know on our on a, on a normal everyday level does something, and they come in and say, "Hey, my bad," and yeah. it could be something that would that kind of really yeah. we kind of we let that kind of okay, we talk it through and we go we go on about it. Yeah. But time still got to do what time does. Yeah, right. But yeah, again, yeah. Yeah. time does. Yeah. But 
we don't need to help. Like, we don't help it. But see, the point that you make, Ryan, though, is still a one-on-one. Like, for example, based on the example that you're using, what I would, what I would take from that is that if Will apologizes, and even though he has apologized, and at the time that he did, at that time, you know, Chris wasn't ready to receive right. it. You know, right. but at the at the time when Chris has received it, and maybe they are able to make amends or whatever, then maybe the two of them have worked out. But in in the situation you're using, <laughs> right? I've got something for that. Somebody else, if somebody wronged you and they apologize, you're cool. But guess what? If somebody wronged you and the three of us see it, yeah. right? For a little while, the three of us are gonna be like. Nah, bro, you Okay, know. all right, That's all right, good. go on, go on, go on, go on with that, but, okay, but I need go you on to that, explain what you meant by we can't help it. What do you mean? You said, you know, uh, we talked about apologize, but we no, can't. No, I'm saying we don't, the public opinion doesn't help it get better because he's apologized, but he's still getting hammered. Like, they, then people aren't saying, like Greg just said, you have to let time just, and you said it oh, too, DeMarcus. because people are hurt on so many different just levels. Just do that. Because at the end of the day, if I'm if I'm Will Smith and I say I've apologized and at some point if Chris talks to me and right. says, OK, I forgive you. Oh, I shouldn't. Ca- I'm not well, going to keep minute, caring about Ryan. what all of y'all think see, about it. But see, there's different levels. He apologized to Chris. He didn't apologize to Will Packer. He we didn't don't apologize to, to no. Quest Love. He didn't apologize to Wanda Sykes. He didn't apologize to. Oh, yeah. he did. I'm saying, okay. Okay. say he. D- no, he's from whoever Philly, directly so he was impacted. <laughs> He apologized to them. But I'm saying, why should he keep worrying about the, the court of public opinion? Because people are not going to let it go. People are not. Well, he don't have to worry about talking it. about it is one thing. He, but yeah. first of all, he, if it doesn't impact people directly, a lot of people are just commenting on stuff and mad about stuff, which well, don't even matter to yeah, them anyway. I believe, right. I believe this. Yeah. Stuff. You know, I mean, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, to yeah. go back to Greg, what Greg, Greg made a statement about his passion. I think that it's, it's going to continue to affect Will because we've always seen Will yeah. in a certain space and light. Mm-hmm. When is, I, beyond this particular incident, when's the last time you've heard or seen him? I think it's, going to, it's affecting him because it's literally interfering with any and everything he's doing. He's still going to make movies. He's still mm-hmm. going to do what he does. But until he can get past this particular thing, he's going to be stuck in that moment until... Yeah. Him and Chris had that sit down. But you have some people come out in support of him. You know, you have I some people come out and say, you know what, so. I get it. And again, we and I think part of the thing that we again talking about holding people to a higher standard. I don't know if we and it's easy for people to sit back and say what they wouldn't do or how they should have handled it until you get in the situation oh, yeah. and somebody insults oh, your sure. person. It's true. And then you sit back. It's true. And if the, your I person is the sitting there looking thing. at you and saying, so this is OK for somebody to okay. insult me. No. What do you do <laughs> about that? I, but see, I, I, and it just comes down to the person. You know, I, I'm the type of person where I know that you never argue with the man with the mic. Yeah, that never goes well. That never goes well. Never, never goes argue well. with the man, man with the mic. Never, goes, never well. goes well. So my thing would be, I'm not gonna say nothing until yeah. I get that mic. Now, when yep. I get that mic, <laughs> yep. Yep. it's gonna be a bad day. Now. Yep. When I get it, yep. it's gonna be a bad day. Yep. And I, I even uh, is on one of the uh, social media uh, platforms recently. One of the uh, pastors said, made a statement that every from his pulpit, pastors are the only one of the few jobs that are expected to forgive and overlook everything that's done, but. Never get it can get, reciprocated. Yeah, they, don't, they, don't get it right. they never get it reciprocated. Yeah. They make a mistake percent. and it, 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 it trails them they do. forever. Yeah, they do. But people come to them all the time they do. about problems. Their own stuff. I've, yeah. done, expect I've done this. I've hit my wife. I've done this to my wife. I've done this. I've done this. I've yeah. been out here. I've been doing this. And yeah. guess what? We expect to pray for them. Yeah. Hold them up, encourage them. It's going to be better. Yeah. It's going to be this. Yes, but sir. as soon as that happens to them, yeah. Yeah. I the agree same with that. It's a different story. But I got to agree I, but, with that. But I'm going to say something now. It's going to be tough. Go ahead. That's, that's, it's that's going to be tough. Say it. But I'm going to say something. And, this, and, and, and okay, it ain't that kind of show, but it's going to be that kind of show right now. All right. Paul said, yeah. I am a prisoner of the gospel. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? I am a prisoner of gospel. It means that I am held to that gospel. It means that it is unfair 
but it's reality. It's real. Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. And that's and what so yeah. it's it's our job. Think I'm a new age pastor. As leaders. <laughs> I'm a new age it's pastor. our job as leaders. <laughs> so he's the now, volunteer now, of the gospel, not a prisoner. Now, now, now listen. Now here's what I'll say. And I know we guys know we come to me, but here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. Now, part of the issue, though, is that a lot of pastors, and I, know, I don't want to go yeah, away from yeah, what we're talking no, about, no. but a lot of leaders allow themselves to be placed on pedestals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the leader doesn't make themselves appear to be human. Mm -hmm. That's good. So when the leader falls, then they want to say, but I'm human. But no, 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 no. All, human this time, all, the time. Got you, all this time. I got you. Good. You know? I got you. That's good. Look, we got, this, this is another week. My could, God! We could talk about this for another 34 minutes. But look, we have to pass. go. We've got a lot to talk about. Great show, guys. I appreciate it. Um, send us your comments and your thoughts. <laughs> send them to him. Uh, <laughs> send them to him. That's Greg Kirkland, <laughs> Smith, Jeff Fontenroy. They have active emails. Yeah. Send them. Social wow. media. Go visit them. Look, thank y'all for joining us this week. This week. Until then, be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Slap. We seen how to make videos. <laughs> 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 Let's just talk about it, dog. I didn't.